75% reduction in energy use and heat that works down to negative 32 degrees Fahrenheit without backup systems, not to mention hot water up to 180 degrees from the same unit. Now, these aren't specs from some far future technology. This is what fluids cascading heat pump is delivering right now with off the shelf components. I've been covering HVAC innovations for years on this channel, and I can tell you that most breakthroughs are just minor tweaks to existing technology, but this cascading heat pump system is different because it's solving the fundamental limitations that have held heat pumps back from truly replacing fossil fuels in cold climates. And it could permanently change how we think about heating our homes, just like how Delete Me could change the way you think about how your online data is getting sold online by private data brokers, but more on that later. Ever wonder why traditional heat pumps struggle when temperatures drop significantly below freezing? It's a common frustration for homeowners in extremely cold climates. And today we're going to break down what's really happening inside these machines when winter hits hard. Now let's start with the basics. If you're new to the channel, and haven't watched our other videos. We talk about this a lot, but heat pumps are basically air conditioners with a reversing valve. And I know that sounds weird, but stay with me. Instead of creating heat through combustion like a furnace, heat pumps simply move existing heat from one place to another using a refrigerant inside of a closed circuit. So even when it's cold outside, there's still heat energy in the air, just less of it. And the heat pump's job is to capture that energy and transfer it inside your home. Now, this process is actually incredibly efficient under the right conditions, and we measure this efficiency using something called coefficient of performance, or COP. And you can think of COP as a multiplication factor for how much heat energy you get compared to the electricity that you put in. Now, standard heat pumps typically deliver a COP somewhere between 3 and 4 in moderate temperatures, with inverters outperforming in colder temperatures. Now, that means that for every unit of electricity they consume, they move three to four units of heat into your home, which is pretty impressive. But here's where things get tricky. That efficiency takes a nosedive as temperatures plummet, because as the temperature drops significantly below freezing, the refrigerant struggles to extract heat from the outside air. There's simply less thermal energy available to capture, and the system has to work harder and harder, causing the COP to drop dramatically. And in really cold conditions, many traditional heat pumps have to switch over to backup resistance heating, basically giant electric space heaters, which use way more electricity and cost a lot more to run. And this is why on this channel, we talk a lot about dual fuel systems as a great option for very cold climates because they give you the best of both worlds, especially for customers using solar panels for their electricity. Now, this efficiency cliff is the main reason many homeowners in places with harsh winters have been hesitant to ditch their gas furnaces, because who wants to pay sky high electric bills during the coldest months of the year, or worse, risk not having enough heat when you need it the most? most. Now, despite the benefits of electrification, the performance limitations in cold weather have been a major sticking point for a lot of consumers, and understandably so. The root of this problem lies in the properties of the refrigerant itself. You see, each type of refrigerant has what engineers called an optimal temperature range which is conditions where it works most efficiently. And when ambient temperatures fall outside of the sweet spot, performance starts to suffer. It's basically like trying to ride a bike with only one gear, makes it great on flat ground, but you might struggle when you hit the hills. Now, this fundamental limitation has been holding back heat pump technology for decades, but what if there was a way around it? What if instead of relying on a single refrigerant to handle all temperature conditions, we could use different refrigerants for different temperature ranges? And that's where the concept of cascading heat pump systems enters the picture. And it's actually a pretty clever approach when you think about it. You see, instead of asking one refrigerant to do all the work across a huge temperature range, a cascading system uses multiple refrigerant loops, each optimized for handling a specific part of the temperature spectrum. And it's exactly like what we discussed earlier when we discussed the metaphor of having multiple gears on your bike versus a single speed because you can tackle a much wider range of terrain efficiently because you will always have the right gear ratio for the conditions required. Now, this is precisely what makes fluids heat pump systems different from conventional systems because their technology uses multiple refrigerant loops arranged in cascade or arranged in series with each stage handling the temperature range where it performs best. Now, the first loop might extract heat from the outdoor air, even when it's bitterly cold, and then it transfers that heat to the second loop, which operates at a different temperature range. And this chain continues with each stage optimized for maximum efficiency within its specific operating parameters. And the result is a heat pump that maintains an impressive efficiency across a much wider temperature range than conventional single stage systems can even touch. This is because it does not hit that efficiency cliff that standard heat pumps do when 
when temperatures drop below freezing. Instead, it gracefully adapts to changing conditions, maintaining performance where traditional systems would be struggling, and burning through electricity with resistance heating because they need to switch to backup heat. And we're going to talk about the technical breakthroughs that make the heat pump so different shortly. But if you're enjoying this content so far, it would mean the world to me if you consider subscribing to the channel or simply hit the like button for the algorithm. It's a free way you can show support if you're finding this content helpful and enjoyable, and it is much appreciated. Now, this efficiency breakthrough sounds almost too good to be true, which begs the question, if cascading heat pump systems are so effective, why aren't all manufacturers using this approach? And the answer lies in a delicate balancing act that happens inside every heat pump, one that Fluid has mastered with nothing more than ordinary parts and extraordinary software. You see, here's the thing about heat pumps that most people don't realize. They're walking a tightrope every second they operate because one wrong move in the entire system could fail catastrophically. Now, I'm being a little dramatic here, but I'm talking about the superheat issue, which is a critical challenge that every heat pump must overcome because the refrigerant that circulates through your system absolutely must return to the compressor as a vapor, not a liquid. This is why inverters perform better in cold climates than a single stage counterpart. Because if liquid refrigerant enters your compressor, you're looking at serious damage that over time could destroy your system. Think of it like putting water in your car's gas tank. Your engine isn't designed to compress liquid, it's built to compress gas. And the same principle applies to your heat pump compressor compressor because when liquid refrigerant enters, it can be compressed like vapor, which creates a hydraulic lock that can damage the compressor's internal components. Now, this is heat pump 101, but solving this problem efficiently is anything but basic. Now, most manufacturers take the easy way out. They simply overheat the refrigerant to ensure it's completely vaporized before it returns to the compressor. But the problem with this approach is that it wastes energy and a lot of it. It's like using a flamethrower to light a candle. Sure, you'll definitely get the job done, but at what cost? And fluids approach is radically different because because instead of using brute force, the solution they've developed is a sophisticated control software that monitors and adjusts the superheat with incredible precision. And this is because their system maintains the superheat variance within a single degree, which is an impressive variance and feat of engineering that protects the compressor without wasting energy, because this precise control is what makes the cascading system actually viable in the real world. You see, the magic happens in how these cascading loops work together. Each loop in the system uses a different refrigerant with specific properties, ideal for certain temperature ranges, and when you connect these loops, something remarkable happens. One loop's condenser becomes the evaporator for the next loop, and this creates a chain, or cascade, of heat transfer that's far more efficient than any single stage system could ever be. And what this accomplishes is when the outdoor temperature drops to levels that would normally cripple a conventional heat pump running on a single refrigerant, fluids first stage refrigerant still extracts what little heat is available. And then this heat is passed to the second stage where a different refrigerant can work with that captured heat much more efficiently. Now, this con system continues through this process through the cascade, maintaining performance in conditions that would send most traditional heat pumps. And when I say traditional, I mean single stage heat pumps into inefficient backup heat mode. But what's truly surprising about fluids innovation is that they're not using any exotic hard to find components because everything in their system uses standard off the shelf parts that are readily available. The revolutionary aspect isn't actually the hardware, it's how they've arranged these common components and more importantly, how they control them with their software. You see, this strategic choice to use standard components has major implications beyond just performance. And I speak from a technician's perspective because it helps helps shield their production from supply chain disruptions and potentially keeps manufacturing costs lower than if they required specialized parts. And it also makes for easier availability when a technician needs parts for repairs. Because as they scale up production, this approach could actually make cascading heat pump technology more accessible and affordable for homeowners, and the results speak for themselves. This system can operate effectively at temperatures as low as 32 degrees Fahrenheit without needing to switch to backup resistance heating. And that's entering territory that most HVAC professionals would have told you is impossible with standard components just a few years ago. We're talking about maintaining efficiency in conditions where conventional systems would be burning through electricity like there's no tomorrow, and at a reduced output. And for homeowners in places like Minnesota, Montana, or the upper reaches of New England, this is isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a complete paradigm shift. You see, these are areas where heat pumps have traditionally been dismissed as impractical. And now, fluids technology offers a viable path to electrification, even in the harshest North American climates, just like Delete Me offers a viable path for you to remove your personal information from online sites with the click of a button. Now, this is a service that I personally use, and they have removed my information from dozens of sites. It 
helps you remove your personal information like your name, address, phone number, email, and more from data broker websites that buy, sell, and trade your data online. And the process is simple. You simply submit your information and within seven days, you receive a report showing exactly where your data was found and removed. Delete Me continues to monitor and remove your data all year long. And I can tell you from personal experience that it actually works. Now you can get 20% off of all US plans today by heading over to the link in the description down below or simply scan the QR code here on the screen to get started and join the thousands of people who trust Delete Me to protect their online privacy and take control of your data today. Now back to the content. Beyond the impressive performance in harsh climates, let's talk about the practical side of this technology. Electrifying frigid climate homes isn't just about improved performance, it's about the potential to save thousands in energy costs over the system's lifetime, but there's a financial hurdle that most homeowners will need to consider. Fluid's cutting-edge technology starts at $12,000 for a basic three-ton system before installation costs. And the question is, is the performance worth the premium? Let's break down what you're actually getting for that investment. Now, the price of innovation doesn't come cheap. Fluid systems range from three tons for smaller residences all the way up to commercial scale systems. And their standard three-ton residential system starts at $12,000 plus shipping, while larger systems like their 15-ton option will set you back around $48,000 plus shipping. And that's before factoring installation, thermostats, electric components, or refrigerants. When you compare these figures to conventional heat pumps, that might cost half as much up front. You might experience some sticker shock, but this price difference makes sense when you consider that these systems can do in conditions where traditional technology simply gives up. Now, the ability to maintain efficiency at temperatures that would force conventional systems to switch to expensive backup resistance heating means your monthly energy bills could be dramatically lower during the coldest months of the year, especially for customers that are off grid and whose only choices for energy are currently propane or oil. And what's particularly impressive about fluids technology is its versatility. This system can handle an extraordinary temperature range from a frigid negative 32 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to a scorching 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it suitable for virtually any climate across North America from the frozen reaches of Minnesota to the desert heat of Arizona. You're essentially getting year round climate control from a single system that works efficiently across conditions where traditional equipment would struggle. And for homeowners with existing hot water baseboard for steam heating systems, Fluid offers a unique opportunity that wasn't previously available. And until now, these homeowners faced limited options for going electric, typically involving expensive retrofits to install ductwork or replacing their entire heating distribution system. Now, Fluid's technology, however, enables complete fossil fuel replacement without having to change your indoor equipment, allowing you to keep your existing hydronic system while eliminating your dependency on a gas or oil boiler. And the physical footprint of these systems might surprise you too. Despite their advanced capabilities, they're remarkably compact. The main unit replaces your furnace indoors with only a modest component needed outside, much less intrusive than you might expect for such a powerful system. And there is good news on the affordability front though. The financial equation isn't quite as daunting as the sticker price might suggest. Various tax rebates and incentives for heat pump installations can significantly offset the initial investment. And Fluid is currently working to certify its cold climate, air to air, and forced hot water boiler systems to make them eligible for these rebates. This certification process is crucial as it could potentially knock thousands off the upfront cost. And in the meantime, Fluid isn't sitting idle. They're currently offering warranted pre-certification units and custom built commercial and residential air source heating and AC units to interested customers. There is currently a six to nine week lead time as of the filming of this video for all systems, which reflects both their custom nature and the company's current production capacity as a newer player in the market. Now, looking beyond individual home installations, the potential market impact of this technology is significant. By making complete electrification practical in all climates, even for homes with existing hydronic systems, Fluid could help accelerate the transition away from fossil fuel heating and into more affordable and more economical and more capable heat pump solutions. And this addresses a major obstacle for people trying to electrify their home heating, especially in regions with very harsh winters. And the good news for cost-conscious homeowners is that these prices aren't likely to remain at premium levels forever. As with most technologies, production scaling and maturation typically drives down costs over time. And since Fluid is a new product, it's expected that there might be a little bit of a premium in the beginning. And since Fluid builds their systems using readily available parts rather than exotic components, they should avoid the supply chain bottlenecks that often plague other newer technologies. And this approach is what's helping ensure that manufacturing costs can decrease as production volumes increase, potentially making cascading heat pumps more accessible to average homeowners in the coming years. And it's also worth noting that the future of fluids technology 
looks promising, the company's smart approach of using standard components actually gives them a massive advantage as they scale up production because without custom-made parts to worry about, supply chains can stay flowing, manufacturing costs should naturally decrease over time, not to mention parts availability for technicians, and even better for homeowners is those tax rates and incentives could make this technology significantly more affordable in the coming years. And while the initial investment might seem steep today, the long-term math starts looking pretty attractive when you factor in energy savings, eliminated backup heating costs, and potentially decades of reliable operation. What Fluid has proven is that the heating revolution isn't waiting for some magical new technology, it's already here. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and watch this next video.